another food shop haul. It's only a small haul, it's a Marks and Spencer's one. But I just said to Dan on the way home, I might as well do it because some people I think sometimes think with M&S that stuff costs a fortune but the quality of it is really good and you can get some really good deals in there. When I go through the food you'll see um, there's some deals for like three for £10. I got a little bottle of non-alcoholic Prosecco for a pound. There is good deals to be had in there and yeah I just thought M&S their food is so nice and it's forever changing so they bring out new stuff all the time which is really nice and I feel really safe in there they really do think about how many people they're letting in the shop at the moment and their the aisles and stuff are really spaced out and they've opened up the whole shop now so you can buy bits and bobs as well as food if you're new to my channel I'm Olivia I'm about to become a first time mum this video I'm not 100% sure whether or not she'll be here yet but I'm over 40 weeks now. I'll be 41 weeks on Wednesday. So yeah, it's just a, basically a small haul of different bits and bobs that you can get in M&S if you don't usually shop in there or if you just wanna look at M&S stuff or you wanna see what we got. If you're new to my channel, please do stick around and subscribe. Put a subscribe button somewhere. And also watch some of my other videos if you are new or returning if you're returning to my channel then thank you so much for coming back and if you're not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and just let me know in the comments down below what else you would like to see from my videos and yeah let's get into the MS food right guys so this is what we got from MS. So it's not a big shop, it's just literally, we go there sometimes on the weekend when we want either a barbecue or to get some nice bread or something like that. So these are like non-food items. So since I've been pregnant, I've been wearing the M&S pants and I want some more for after labour and mum got me some high leg ones and I have to keep rolling them down. So I've got some of them because all of M&S is open now. So they were eight pounds and then I got these were in like the sales section and they were two pounds so i got both of those then we saw these while we were queuing and they're like plastic tumblers and they're like mermaidy so we picked up those 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 are 12.50 for four and we also got this they had loads of different ones for like barbecues and stuff with flamingos and safari animals and just really nice so that was also 12.50 and then they've also got some glasses like this that were like gin glasses but everything's plastic so at least you don't have the risk of smashing it so we've got those two then this is our favorite bread if you haven't ever tried this bread from M&S it's um called a ball I think it's called and it smells if you could smell this I wish we could do like sense like senses thing on YouTube it smells so nice and you, you really need to eat it the same day because it does go a bit stale because it's fresh from the bakery so we got that and we got some ham from there because we really like the ham in there so we got those to have for lunch then we've got some roast potatoes for dinner frozen ones just so we can throw them in the oven these things are really good so let me show you these all together so at the minute they've got the barbecue section in M&S so everything is three for ten pounds you can get bigger and um, posh dogs they taste like hot dogs they're so nice these will have as one meal with like rice or pasta or something um these then we'll probably have for barbecue next week because it's meant to be nice so yeah if you haven't tried i mean for three for ten pound that is really really good value i think and especially for m&s i think people sometimes think that m&s is really expensive for meat and stuff so yeah they've got loads of other selection they've got other burgers they've got other sausages other chicken things they've got halloumi they've got veggie stuff so yeah they're really really good and three for ten pound then we've got some bacon for in the morning these bad boys so at the minute they've got these thing called, things called yum nuts so they're a mix between a yum yum and a donut and they've got chocolate strawberry these are lemon they've got i think she said they've got cookie dough or something but I've got a bit, of, a bit of an obsession with lemon stuff at the minute. So got them. I think they were £3. 
And then Dan got these little ice cream gingerbread men because he likes gingerbread. So I think they're about 90p each. Some Colin the Caterpillars. If you've never tried Colin the Caterpillars, you need to. These are the veggie sour ones, which are really, really nice. Fizzy rainbow ones. These are like the size of dinner plates. We get these every time we go in. They're so nice. And they also do mint ones that have like a crispy mint, which are really nice as well. They're quite dear. I think they're about £2.50 or something, but they're so nice. They're literally huge. Like probably, that is probably how big it is or maybe it's no it's bigger I think hang on that's how big it is I like that <laughs> but they're so good if you've never tried them then guys we've got some brioche buns and some sausage roll buns for our barbecue for these then moving on to da -da -da -da. Dan got these they were selling them in there I didn't know they were selling them in there he's got them for his work lads so they were three pound for three masks so if anybody needs a mask, so M&S have got some in at the minute. Then, guys, this is actually Dan's, but if you've never, ever had this before, obviously I can't have it at the minute because I'm pregnant, but I've got some cans of it in the fridge for when baby comes. It is unreal. It's the best porn star martini, like, make, knockoff, if you, that's not in a bar sort of thing, ever everyone needs to go and get a can if not a bottle they started also doing a raspberry one which i've got a couple of in the fridge so i got a passion fruit for mine this is actually only 60p i think so for when baby comes because she should be making an arrival anytime now i'm going to put that in mine but for today i got this so if you haven't tried this this is also really nice if you're pregnant at the minute or you don't drink there's um, this one and a rosé for zero and they're just really nice. I think they're really low in calorie. When I looked at the, I had a big bottle of the pink one the other day and it's got green tea or something in it and it was only about 20 something calories a glass. So it's really good if you're also say on a diet or anything like that. Then guys, I've got some strawberries which are only two pound, which is really good value and um, compared to other places and they're so nice and they're always such good quality. And then, we got this bad boy <laughs> to try again and bring on labour. I'll probably end up eating that later. And that wasn't very overpriced either. I think it was it was in like an off a bit. It might have even been 60 something P. I'm not 100% sure. I'll double check that. But yeah, so we got one of them as well. But this is everything we got from M&S. Obviously, including these bits at the end, that's what's made it a bit more expensive. But I do want to try and do a weekly food shop there and see how much it costs because the food quality is so nice and the dates and stuff are always really good. So, yeah. So, guys, I hope that gave you a little insight into what you can sort of get and pick up from m and There is some such nice stuff in there. If you've never had, like, just even if you want to go and get a few little bits for like a barbecue one weekend from in there, it's really good. And like you saw, there is stuff that can be had for cheap like three for ten pound the in total our food that all that including the this is a including the tumbler and the jug and my underwear it came to 78.05 altogether but say if you were doing a normal food shop in there i think you'd probably be able to get decent stuff for not too bad price and um, yeah, they're like most expensive items were like the jug and the cups. But all their fruit and veg and stuff is such good quality. And it's really well priced. It's, it's similar prices to every other supermarket in my opinion anyway. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. Like I said at the beginning, please do give it a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it. And I'll see you in my next one. See you soon. Where are you?